Hello everyone. So we will continue with one dimensional arrays. We have already finished two videos that is arrays part A and arrays part B. In that we have already covered many topics like how to initialize and declare array, then runtime and compile time initialization. Also if we have seen some examples on arrays. So today we will cover the topic of insertion. So we will see how to insert an element at a particular position. So before I'll explain you all the code, I'll explain the logic of the code with the help of an example. Now consider we have this array. So suppose the elements of the array are 10, 20, 40, 50 and 60. Now say suppose user says he wants to insert element 30 at position 3, which means that at the third position 30 should be inserted. So this is position 3, right? So at this position 30 should be inserted. So this is the output we should get that is 30 should be inserted at the third position. So the output will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Now one more important thing we need to know here when the user says he wants to insert at position 3 it means that actually inside the array we will be inserting at the second position. We already know that array values start from 0 so this will be 0th position first position and this will be the second position. So whenever user says position 3, it will be inserted at the second position. Or say user says position 4, then it should be inserted actually inside the array at the third position. Fine. So we will see how we will solve this now. Now consider we have this array. Say suppose user has entered 10, 20, 40, 50 and 60. So we want to insert element 30 at the third position. The first step is to shift the elements to the right from the given position. Now we want to insert 30 at the third position. So we will start shifting to the right from this particular position. So 40 will be shifted here, 50 will be shifted here and 60 at this position. The first three elements will remain as it is. We are just shifting from the given position. So after shifting we will get this array that is the first three elements will remain as it is that is 20 sorry that is 10, 20 and 40. This 40 is shifted here, this 50 is shifted here and this 60 will be shifted here. So we get this array that is 10, 20, 40, 40, 50, 60. After we shift the elements to the right next step is to replace the position with the element specified. The position was given as 3 and the element the element to be inserted was given as 30. So now we can insert element 30 at the third position. See when I say at the third position actually inside the array it will be position 2 because array element starts from 0. So here we can see that we have already got a desired output. Now the third step is to increase the array size and print. The reason we increase the array size is because over here we can see that the array size was 5. Initially the array size was 5. After inserting one element the array size has changed to 6. So if we want all the elements to be printed we need to increase the array size and then print the array. So basically what we do is that first we shift the elements to the right from the specified position. Then we replace the position with the element specified. In this case it was 30 so we replace with 30. Finally we increase the array size as the array size changes and then we print the array. So based on this logic we will write a code. So this is the code to insert elements at a particular position. First we write the header file then the program will start from the main function. Then we declare all the variables. We have declared an integer array A. The maximum size of the array is given as 50. We have declared another variable i, integer variable i, which will be used in looping. Then n will hold the number of element in the array. And position will be the position where user wants to insert an element. And num will hold the number that user wants to insert inside the array. Then it will ask the user to enter the number of elements. 
say for example user enters n value as 5 so this side i've explained the code with the help of an example next it will ask the user to enter elements in the array to insert elements in an array we shall use a for loop how we insert using a for loop has already been explained in my previous videos so i'll just explain here in brief we will start from i equal to 0 because array values start from 0 loop will go on from i less than n n will be the number of elements so till i is less than n it will take a value from the user and store it in array now say suppose uh, n value is 5 then user will enter n elements and let us consider user enters value as 10 20 40 50 and 60 so that means 10 will be placed at the 0th position 20 at the first position 40 at the second 50 at the third and 60 at the uh, fourth position next it will ask the user to enter the position and the number to be inserted so whatever position the user enters will be stored in this pos variable and whatever the number the user enters it will be stored in the num variable say for example user enters number as 30 so this 30 will be stored in the num variable and say user enters position as 3 then 3 will be stored in this pos variable now we know that array values always start from 0 so when user says he wants to insert as position 3 then actually it means that he wants to insert at the second position to insert element at a particular position first step is to shift the elements to the right from the given position the position user has entered here is 3 and we know that inside the array it is position 2 because array values start from 0 so we will start shifting elements to the right from this particular position so we will shift elements to the right from this position so this is the part where we shift the elements to the right so we will shift the elements to the right using a for loop first we set n value to i i equal to n meaning n value will be assigned to i then the loop will go on till i is greater than equal to position the reason we take this condition is because we need to start shifting from the specified position so if the position is 3 we need to start shifting from here the other elements will remain as it is so if the condition is satisfied it will execute this statement now this statement it will do the job of shifting elements to the right so we will see this example first n value is assigned to i now in this example n value is 5 so phi value will be assigned to i then it will check for the condition is i greater than equal to position position we have taken as 3 so it will check is phi greater than equal to 3 yes the condition is satisfied so it will execute the statement inside the for loop inside the for loop we have a statement as a of i equal to a of i minus 1 now currently i value is 5 so we will get here a of 5 equal to a of 5 minus 1 a of 5 minus 1 is a of 4 so a of 4 value currently is 60 so that means 60 will be assigned to a of 5 value so we can see here 60 is assigned to a of 5 value after this uh, statement is executed it will decrement the i value so i value will become 4 then again uh, so i value is 4 again it will check for the condition it will check if 4 is greater than equal to position position is 3 so it will check if 4 is greater than equal to 3 yes the condition is satisfied so again execute the statement the statement is a of i equal to a of i minus 1 i value is 4 over here so it will uh, we will get a of 4 equal to a of 4 minus 1 a of 4 minus 1 is a of 3 that means a of 3 value will be assigned to a of 4 so what is a of 3 value currently a of 3 value is 50 so 50 will be assigned to a of 4 so we can see over here 50 is assigned to a of 4 after that again i value will be decremented i value will become 3 i value is 3 so again it will check is 3 greater than equal to position position is 3 yes condition is satisfied so 
we will get a of 3 is equal to a of 3 minus 1 that is a of 2. So what is a of 2 value? a of 2 value is 40 that means 40 will be assigned to a of 3 value. So we can see here that 40 is assigned to a of 3 value. Then again i value will decrement, i value will become 2, i value is 2 here. So it will check again is 2 greater than equal to position, position is 3. So is 2 greater than equal to 3? No. So this loop will terminate. After this for loop we will get this array. So we can see that uh, the first three elements that is a of 0, a of 1 and a of 2 are not changed. It is as it is. It is 10, a of 0 is 10, a of 1 is 20 and a of 2 is 40. So the elements are as it is. But a of 3 is assigned value 40, a of 3 is assigned value 40, a of 4 is assigned value 50 and a of 5 is assigned value 60. So we can see that this element has been shifted here, this over here and this element at this position. So after this for loop we have got this array. After we shift element to the right, next step is to replace the position with the element specified. So we will use this formula. Now the reason we take position minus 1 is because array values start from 0. Now say suppose if user enters position as 3, then actually inside the array it is position 2 which we need to insert. Fine? So this is the formula a of position minus 1 equal to num. Position was given as 3 but since array value starts from 0 actually position will be 2. So we take a of position minus 1 so it will be a of 2 will be replaced with 30. So we can see that a of 2 has been replaced with 30 that is the third position or we can say the uh, second position inside the array has been replaced with the value 30. Other elements are as it is, they are not changed, only this element has been replaced with 30. So after this, we have successfully inserted the element at the specified position. Last step is to increase the array size and print. The reason we increase the array size is because here we can see that initially array size was 5, that was n equal to 5. After inserting, we have inserted one element, so n value has changed to 6, that means n value has increased. So before printing the array, we need to increase the array size. So as a result, we have written the statement here, n++, plus plus, which means n equal to n plus 1, so n value will be incremented by 1. So if n was 5, we will get n value as 6. After that, we print the array, that is we have, will print this entire array. Uh, printing again we will use a for loop. Now how to print using a for loop this I have already explained in my previous videos. Uh, that is we will start with i equal to 0 because array value start from 0. It will go on till i less than n and will be the number of elements. So till i value less than n it will print the array element one by one. So this was the code to insert element at a specific uh, location. So if asked for exams, you just need to write this code, this explanation I have given so that you all understand the code. Thank you so much for watching. In my next video, we will see how to insert element at the beginning and how to insert element at the end.